When you receive a new coil of rope and the rope is less than 48 millimeters in diameter, the rope can be taken direct from the inside of the coil. This will maintain the rope's protective wrapping after you have cut off your required length. For rope work purposes, the part of the rope taking the strain is called the standing part. The other end, in your right hand if you right handed, the part of rope used to make fast or left unused is the running end or the tail. The bite is the loop between the standing end and the running end. Knots are the intertwining of the end of the rope with a portion of the rope. The reef knot, shown here, is widely used for lashing when a strong secure knot is required. It can also be used for joining two pieces of rope that are the same size. The bowline may be used to put a temporary eye in a rope. It is useful in applications where we do not want the eye to tighten. The bowline is well known as a rescue knot, if necessary, for rescuing people who might have fallen overboard. The figure of eight knot can be used as a stopper, to prevent the line from running through a fair lead, for example. The figure of eight knot does not jam so readily as an overhand knot. A bend is the intertwining of the ends of two ropes to make one rope. A sheet bend is an example of a bend used to join ropes of similar size. A double sheet bend can be used to join two ropes of different sizes. A hitch is used to attach a rope to a post, pole, ring, hook or other object or standing part of another rope. The round turn and two half hitches is a common method of securing a line to a bollard, spar or ring. A clove hitch can be used to secure the end of a line under tension. It can be used to make fast fenders to the boat's rail. A rolling hitch is similar to a clove hitch but with an extra turn. May be used to take a strain along a pole. It be used to secure a rope tail to a larger rope, or a pole or a hose when the direction of pull is along the rope of the pole in one direction only. A splice is the joining of the ends of two ropes, or the end of the rope with the body of a rope, by weaving the strands over and under the strands of the other part. Splicing rope is a skill that can only be learned through practice. An eye splice is formed by unlaying the end of a rope, then turning the end back to from an eye, and tucking the separated strands into the standing part. If splicing round a thimble, the rope is described as having a hard eye. If splicing round a thimble, the rope is described as having a hard eye. Here are two ropes joined by a long splice. Here is a back splice being used to attach a rope to a chain, as we would to make an anchor road.